What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar, and I'm here of course with part 2 of my Fixing Smash Ultimate recolors based on some new ideas that I had that I didn't get to in the first video and based on your comments that you left on the first video as well. But real quick, before I get into it, I am of course sick. I posted about this on Twitter a bunch and on my community tab, but you can probably tell from my voice that I don't sound 100% the same, and of course that's because I'm sick. So I apologize if I sound weird during this video. I will do my best to not sound that weird, but I can't make any promises. I will probably mess something up somewhere along the lines. But with all that said, let's go ahead and jump in. So just like the first part, we're going to start with Mario, and with Mario, we are going to look at a couple of returning colors, and then we're going to look at a new one that I made. First is the Wario color scheme for Mario, which got replaced, of course, by the Builder Mario alternate outfit that he has in Smash Ultimate. This has been in the game since actually Smash 64, all the way up to Smash 4 but then was replaced in Ultimate, like I said, with the Builder Mario. Kind of a shame because I always really liked this one, and it is really weird that Mario still has a Waluigi color scheme, but not a Wario or the Fire Mario or anything, because Waluigi and Mario really don't have any kind of a connection to each other, but regardless, this is Wario Mario. Following that is the green color scheme returning from Smash 64. Obviously, this has been tweaked and is now more of a green and brown, but I really like the color scheme from this in Smash 64. It was green with orange overalls and purple shoes, and I kind of just liked how much more vivid it was. And lastly is Ice Mario. A lot of people confuse the blue and pink one or the old inverted red and blue one as Ice Mario, but neither of those are the exactly right color scheme. This is the perfect color scheme. It is exactly Ice Mario, so that would be cool to see if they wanted to get rid of a different blue in a future Smash or bring it back, I don't know, but I always thought this one was a nice color scheme, but I do like the blue and pink one and the inverted one over Ice Mario, so it makes sense. I I'm not too upset that this one isn't in the game. So next up was a recommendation from quite a few comments uh, on the last video saying that Ness should have some color schemes that are based on his party members from Earthbound. Lucas has a handful that are based on his party members, and Ness has a color scheme from a character that's not even from his game, but Ness has zero for his party members, so I designed some based on the, uh, the other playable characters that you sort of recruit in Earthbound. Keep in mind, these are just meant to be color schemes, they're not meant to be alternate costumes, and they're not meant to be 100% perfect, they're just meant to be very loose references, still fitting Ness's actual appearance. So we've got Paula, Pooh, and Jeff as color schemes. So Paula obviously has a pink color scheme for the most part. I kept the shorts the same because I didn't think that an all pink would look good, but uh, everything else for the most part is pink. I gave the hat a little bit accent of yellow to resemble her hair, but yeah, this is pretty much just all pink. Pooh is obvious, he's pretty much just black and white, so that was a pretty easy one to go with. I went with the non-striped shirt for this one, because I thought it better resembled the gi that he has, but that is just kind of my artistic license. I just chose that one because I thought it would look best. And then lastly is Jeff, of course. If you've never played Earthbound, you will notice Jeff from the assist trophy, and he pretty much just has a kind of bluish-green color scheme. I went with the striped shirt again, and then I made his hat match the, uh, the color of Jeff's hair. And then sticking with Ness, I went and made a more accurate Master Belch color scheme, which I don't know why the Master Belch color scheme is like bright blue and red, when Master Belch has never been resembled or colored in that way. It doesn't really make any sense to me, so I went ahead and made it green and purple. Green is for the actual sprite that Master Belch is in the game, where purple is for the actual art that Master Belch has had done of him. For whatever reason, they aren't the same color. The art is purple and the sprite is green. So I thought, perfect opportunity to do both colors and reference both Master Belch appearances. In a similar vein, I did some for Lucas. I made a Kumatora alt, which is the only party member that Lucas has that isn't referenced in his color schemes. He has a Duster one and a Bony one, and Kumatora is the only one that isn't referenced. So. I went ahead and made that one. Obviously a very drastic difference because he's got the pink hair and the very bright uh, shoes and the bright shirt, but 
he finally has all of his party members. But then I went ahead and also updated the bony one just to change his hair to be brown, which better references bony because the only reference for bony is the sprite on his shirt. So I figured at least making the hair brown is a little more accurate. Next, let's move on to Yoshi. I made black Yoshi in the previous video and a lot of people were asking for orange and white Yoshi. So I went ahead and made those. I think that is all of the Yoshis now. I think maybe actually there's a brown Yoshi. Never mind, I lied. But that's still kind of orange Yoshi, just a little darker. But yeah, these were the two most popular Yoshi colors. Definitely deserve a spot in Smash 2. I don't know why they've limited themselves to eight costumes only, but regardless, there is orange and white Yoshi. And now for a big one, a Hilda color scheme for Zelda. I don't know why the dark color scheme wasn't Hilda, it seemed like the perfect opportunity, and even if they didn't want to make the dark color scheme this one, there was still a, a spot available for a Hilda one. I don't know why they didn't put Hilda in the game when it was a perfect reference, but I went ahead and made Hilda. This one was really hard because the hair and the skin color were very similar, so I had to pretty much cut the hair out on its own in order to make it purple without making like her ears or her, her cheeks purple or something. So, there we go, Hilda, I did it. You guys happy? Uh, Cause I am, I really like how it turned out. Next we have two returning Wario color schemes which are based on Foreman Spike and the sort of monochrome look of the Game Boy which is where Wario first debuted. I really liked both of these colors and I kinda am disappointed that they didn't return in Smash 4 and in Smash Ultimate because they were really nice in Brawl, but regardless, I made them. And now we have another very, very highly requested one. This was to give Cloud better color schemes and make them based on his party members. So I kind of took the Shulk approach and I did that. I gave him full recolor for his clothes as well as changed his hair color. Because they are all black, it's really hard to recolor these because I don't really have a base color to start with because black is pretty much the lack of all color in Photoshop. So I did my best to try and make this to look as good as possible, but it might not be perfect, but I only made the one because I would rather have one as good as I can get it than a few that are a little less than perfect. So this one is based very loosely on Aerith. I couldn't get the clothes to be as pink as they should be, but uh, I changed his hair color to be brown. I gave him uh, pink clothes and red gloves based on her color scheme. And th this is just kind of what I envisioned Cloud could have as a color scheme for at least his normal looking uh, appearance from Final Fantasy VII. Advent Children, he might have different stuff depending on uh, different references from Advent Children. But for the normal Final Fantasy VII Cloud, I mean, honestly, anything would be better than what we have, but this would be perfect. Uh, like I said, it's the Shulk approach, but I think games where you have a lot of party members with different looks would be perfect for a character in Smash. Next, let's move on to the Fire Emblem characters. I made a few of these to match the way that Lucina's hair color changes for her alternate colors. I thought that that looked really good on certain characters, so I went ahead and did that, especially characters that have particular references. So first, of course, we have Marth. He's got the Cain and Abel color schemes, the Camus color scheme, and the Leaf color scheme. So I went ahead and changed all of the actual hair color to be more like the actual character it's referencing. And personally, I think that this looks really, really good. Next is Roy, and I'm not entirely 100% on what the references are. I know that they are references because I actually looked this up, but I just don't know what the names are offhand, so I can't exactly say. But I really like how he has different colored hair. Although Roy, I'm actually not too upset that he has all red hair for all of his color schemes, but maybe it's because I really like how bright and vivid Roy's red hair is. But then moving on to Krom, Krom also has uh, references for the party members that he can have, uh, or I guess the player can have in his game, and uh, I changed some of the colors to be based on that as well. Not much to say, but I just really like the concept of having a more accurate reference. Next, let's talk about the Justin Bailey Zero Suit Samus. I turned the hair and the neon lights on the bottom green to reference that sprite from the original Metroid. I believe the leotard itself is already a reference to that. I just sort of made this reference a little bit more accurate, but I've always liked this color scheme, and so I wish it was in Smash. 
Lastly, I just made a few for fun. So first up, we have Young Link with a yellow and purple tunic. I believe these were colors that were made for Link in Smash 4. But of course, now that Link has the Breath of the Wild design, he has a whole set of different recolors. So I just brought these over to Young Link because I liked the colors. Next, we have an all black and white piranha plant, except for the pot, of course, which is what one of the piranha plant enemies looked like in Paper Mario. I think it was the Thousand Year Door, I'm not entirely sure, but I like that color scheme, so I just went ahead and made that. Then we have a recolor for Pikachu Libre. This is based on the Pokémon Tournament recolor, where if two players are playing as Pikachu Libre, one of them will be an orange and one of them will be a blue Pikachu Libre. So I just went ahead and recolored that one really quick. And lastly, we have two Girl Inkling recolors. I just used the default because I didn't want to have to work around the different clothing and the different accessories that each different girl recolor might have. But I made them based on the Squid Sisters, one a bright pink and one a bright green. But that is pretty much it for this video. I don't know if I'll do a part three simply because I was actually running out of ideas for this part two. Um, I really had to start looking at wikis and things like that to get some inspiration. But if I didn't do a recolor that you are really, really interested in, of course, leave a reply down in the comments below. Because if I get enough of them, I may end up doing a part three based entirely on your suggestions from the comments. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go drink some tea. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out and have an awesome day. Yeah.